It's an option. I don't know. I mean, these two are really charming. Really charming. So. You pointed at me. Thank no, you so much. I, I mean, you're great. No, but... I get it. <laughs> oh, I stepped in it now. <laughs> um, if the goal is to distract and to charm, I, I think that could be our job. Sorry, Sorry. Yourself. Oh, certainly. <laughs> you. Yeah. I mean, I can lie really good, though. I swear. I feel like that, I know, I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if Imogen should be your date. No, 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 you should definitely be his date. Because I feel like, if you weirdly. Don't wanna, if you don't want to be my date, that's fine, it doesn't. No, I would love to. No. I absolutely would love to. Sure. I'm better at background. I just, <laughs> I just, I realize I'm, I'm not as good at lying as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird, because I do it all the time. Um, <laughs> Because when you remember yours was. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Maybe you can just persuade him. What's your persuasion? <laughs> I can persuade. Yeah, you just persuade him. You don't have to lie. Just be really charming. Can you, can you? Well, then I should be the solo noble then. And it's not because my feelings are hurt because you don't want to go on a date with no, me. I it's do. fine. Yeah, I it's absolutely okay. do. Uh, if you're going to flirt with him, it would be strange if you were my partner for the Unless. ball. Yes. Oh. You guys went that way. <laughs> that's true. Maybe that's why I'm there. Why you're there? I'm standing right next to you. Isn't that weird? Because maybe if you're on a date, we're all dating together. Ooh. Maybe I'm security. That's is that. I don't know. It sounds good to me, but uh, <laughs> it's more up to you. I, I, you guys gotta I both be there to because <laughs> with, <laughs> with <laughs> Imogen's <laughs> input. <laughs> What is this plan about? What is this? Uh, I like it. We're all fucking. <laughs> 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 we were just talking. We were just talking. That's one way to work your way to level six, I guess. <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> Mysterious, badass, rich. It's it's like it's like Owlbear Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it's basically Owlbear Man. I've heard those stories. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite scrum. Okay. It's great. Owlbear Man does not exist. <laughs> it's a folk tale. A way to scare children in the outskirts of rural villages. And criminals. And criminals. Such a thing does not exist. <laughs> but I thought he was a kind of criminal himself, right? Which makes him cool. Yeah, He's no, like a vigilante. Both, I mean, like, you know, growing up, uh, clearly, you know, Just to be up, clear, if we come across. Do you think they'll make me leave my backpack? Well, your backpack should likely stay within the carriage. So oh, whatever you okay, wish to so take with you, take it now. Attachments. Can you put? Do they fit? Inside. Can you? I, have you ever tried putting them in your mouth? <laughs> oh yeah, what's inside of you? I've never looked. <laughs> Do you have a? I don't mean to be indelicate, like a hatch. My my mouth and and gullet are my hatch, oh, okay. and we've established that I can hold at least a bottle of wine <laughs> of li <laughs> worth of liquid. So that I, I, f I feel like there's like a cylinder. Can I get up and take a look? Sure. I just like jump I up just... on his shoulders and like, open your, open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> natural 18 for a 19. 19. Glancing down within the gullet of fresh cut grass, you see uh, beyond like the, the pinch of the throat, there does appear to be kind of an empty chamber within, lightless as it is. Um, it has like, it looks almost like like shelf portions that you immediately surmise is where the exterior of the torso kind of pushes inward. Um, yeah, it just looks to be essentially a containment unit. It's it's like a small cubby. We could totally store some stuff inside you. You just have to uh, uh, it down, and we'll be set. Sure. sure. Is is there anything that you that you want me to to sneak in? To, 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 what is that? This is a mid-sized wood chisel, good for detailing and edging. Open wide, <laughs> slow or fast? <laughs> I think slow. You <laughs> <laughs> don't have and to act it out. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Really? Okay. Okay. Roll. I don't know what you're asking, man. Relax. You're fine. And he looks up towards your troop and goes, uh, Right, uh, what is your name? Oh, um, Oh, this is my entourage. This is Fern Calloway. Yes, hello. Very nice to meet you. Fern Calloway. 
here. I, I believe it should be under my name. Oh, oh, and what is your name? Uh, Bronte, the second son, Wyvern Wind. Bronte, second son, Wyvern Wind. Oh, that was a last minute addition. Very well. Um, well, notify the doorman of uh, your name and preferred means of introduction, and uh, um, do you have anything to check in? Any? No, thank you. Looks over Just to the guards, and the guards begin to do kind of a walk around. Now, what 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 is on you, and what if, essentially yeah, what are you leaving behind, yeah. and what do you have on Orm you? Orm has got his shield like ceremoniously attached to his back, mm -hmm. and he has a sheathed dagger wrapped to the inside of his inner thigh, in the pants. Okay. In the pants. Um, Dorian cannot carry a giant loot with a scimitar on the back or a hand axe. Not that but if you were to look <laughs> <laughs> if you were to look in his belt, he has a very long, slim rapier that has been very recently uh, decorated with some uh, jewelry to make it look sort of bombastic and like a ceremonial piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you were to look very close, you would recognize it as the gambler's blade. Oh. Mm. One of the guards kind of looks around. Uh, this is this part of your ensemble. Weaponry is not allowed, aside from approved guards. Of I'm so sorry. This is not weaponry. I'd like to introduce you to Tophonus. It's been in my family for 17 generations. Merely an ornamental blade. Make a deception check. Come on. I have my hands tucked inside of my big bell sleeves that you described, so you can't see any of my electrical markings. And I've got no weapons on me. Mm -hmm. I left my moon sickle in the carriage. Already. That's that's my whip. That's what I have on me. <laughs> <laughs> that's visible. My silver dress, no sleeves. I've got my breastplate, my little harness on it, underneath, and nothing but me, baby. All right. I like. Yeah, I emptied the butt cheeks. Might need to move. <laughs> okay, you do a, a jig for the guards. They no, no, be thorough. Be thorough. <laughs> um, glances over at you, Watley. <laughs> I've just got my big billowy chocolate silky gown with my fox fur. I did not, I'm just having, I got hands and no backpack. I left it behind. So. Alrighty. I left everything behind. And I am just going to fucking skeleton anyone comes anywhere near touching any of my shit. I give a nod after glancing over Eshteros, who holds his walking stick and kind of leans on it like he needs nice, it. Nice, nice. <laughs> you can see. Uh, it looks to be a, a like a pointed bit of, of chin facial hair, uh, very very slickly like kind of palmated short, almost like a bouffant in the front, that is like <laughs> pushed into a wave and then slicked back at that Boys. point, <laughs> spins around. How would you like to be announced? Um. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to look over to Imogen, and can I make a psychic connection? Yep, I'm, I've got it. <clears throat> Did we ever decide on a name? <laughs> Tell me your exact title and I'll give it to him. My exact title? Yes, you're going as yourself. I am, it is my literal middle name. I'm the second son, I don't have a second official title. Bronte. Yes? Of? Second, oh, uh, the Silken Squall. Are we not going to use the cool name? Bronte, <laughs> second son of the Silken Squall. <laughs> <laughs> and part Entering <laughs> Bronte, second son of the Silken Squall. <laughs> and you can see, uh, as you begin to walk in, about a dozen or so other individuals that are kind of on the closer end of this massive chamber kind of turn around and give a look and then. I'll, I'll, I'm going to take Fern and present her to the room and spin her around for all to see. I'll do a beautiful curtsy. It's been a while since I've been in court. You never would notice. <sighs> I'm going to stand Last very sternly behind him like this. <laughs> and uh, Orem know. will always be like three or four feet ahead as a three foot three uh, security detail. Okay. 
The next team falls in from behind. I'm a servant, I guess. <laughs> you hear in your fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I knew you were mad. I knew it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry to uh, impose. I just, uh, um, it is just good to see someone else who is uncomfortable in this space as I am. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what is your name, if I might ask? And Lord Estros kind of uncrosses his arms, but uh, Eric's Eric's Estros, and you are. Says, Oh, I am a Headmaster uh, Agrees Alacritos. I, uh, I work along with the Elysians of Allsight in Ankarel. I was an invited to this event, uh, and I just hate it. I hate this whole thing. I regret coming, and uh, I, it, it does good to see that I'm not the only one, as it kind of looks over the rest of the group <laughs> surrounding him. I make my way over. Oh, sorry, um, is your first time at one of these events? Yes, yes, uh, this is more of my friend's deal, uh, but I was invited, and uh, here I am, and this will be the last time I do this. <laughs> A strange collection of individuals. And who did you come with? Uh, so, uh, a friend of uh, mine is a member of the uh, Mahon houses here, uh, uh, Ajit Dayal. Oh. Um, of, uh, mm -hmm. uh, House Dayal here in this, the city. Very good man, very good yes. man. Much better at these than I am, and I think you'll understand if I um, Leave early. <laughs> oh no, I have the same feeling. I think we're just, you know, making an appearance, keeping up appearances. That's for you. He's part of the Gorgon Eye. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hear it if you're supposed Ajit to be listening. Dial. To Ajit Dial. Yeah. Oh shit, fuck! Anus! Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, Ajit, hey. technically. He said, he said Ajit, but Ajit Dial. Ajit. Ajit Dial. Um, I hear you. Yeah, it's, you know, it's quite boring. Well, uh, uh, my, my lord here is, uh, you know, not one for conversation, but perhaps um, some interesting combo will uh, will go a, a long way. If you don't mind keeping him company, perhaps I could uh, entertain your friend for a bit, and then uh, when those conversations stale, we could uh, call it an evening. Oh, yeah, certainly, certainly. I know he's uh, often about shaking hands and the like, but when, uh, when he returns, I will happily introduce uh, Lord Eshterasi and to your, um, what's your name? Uh, my name is C. C. Pop. And C. <laughs> oh my God. C. C. Pop. C. Pop, C. word C. working, yes. A tall man in his 60s begins to approach you, Dorian. Um, you can see him. He, he's heavy set with almost like a like a bullfrog neck, I would say. Um, most of his hair is thinned away, and wears clothing that is not of Marquette necessarily, um, but definitely wears jewelry that is of Marquesian design. Um, approaches and kind of extends his hand. I'm sorry. I just. Uh, oh, hello. You, you. I have not seen you around before. I, I'm wanting to make your acquaintance. Oh. Hello, hello. How are you, uh, Bronte? Very nice to meet you. Bronte, Bronte. I'm Lord Preston Drodelon. Oh, wow, <laughs> Preston Drodelon. Yes, yes. Well, your, your name precedes you. <laughs> it is quite a name, isn't it? Yes. Uh, oh, uh, this is uh, Fern Calloway, Hello. my accompaniment for the night, and these are my hey. servants, uh, Copernicus and uh, Maud. Uh, <laughs> 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 Copernicus and Maud. <laughs> Which one of you? I stand up right now. I keep having to stand up. Everyone fucking. Which one of you is Maud? I missed the. Part of that introduction. That would be me, Maud, my lord. A pleasure to meet you, Maud. And you, fine small Copernicus. Mm. Sir. <laughs> this is antithetical to all that is Vax. <laughs> and Fern Galloway, well, the pleasure is mine. Oh. Takes your hand and like this little kiss and eye contact. Oh. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. So, how might we know you? Uh, I'm, I'm new to the area, and um, oh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're new to the area? Yes, just. So, not from Marquette, then? Uh, broader than that, uh, surrounding areas, nearby, though. Hmm. Well, uh, I. 
as I said, I'm a Lord Drodelon, I'm a lord. <laughs> I've been for some time. <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, How long have you been mm -hmm. a, a lord? Well, uh, a lord of. Does that happen when you're born? No, no. This oh. was acquired through uh, blood, sweat, and hard work. Oh. Making the right alliances. And I'm a self made man, is what I'm saying. Oh, I imagine you had to kill a lot of people to get there. <laughs> Anyway, um. <laughs> so I, I, I originally made my fortune in a uh, faraway city uh, in Isilra, and uh, was for a time the Lord of the Quad Roads there. And uh, after deciding that I needed a change of pace, I moved on to the city of Eos in Aeshenador, where I currently reside, and um, yes. I like it here. Yes, I, it is quite lovely. It's, it's you know, we, we haven't been here for very long. We're just sort of passing through and, and exploring, you know, part of the world. Well, that is, that is amazing. I'm blown away by that. You are spellbinding. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> this city is just so full of interesting types. I, I right, like your right. story. <laughs> you, know, you know who? It's a long laugh. You, you know who I just saw walk in was uh, Armand Treshi. Oh, yes. Do you know anything about him? We've, we've heard his name bandied about, and uh, just curious. Make a persuasion check. Oh, okay. I can't uh, you know. it. Oh, yes, finally. Uh, blip, blip, blip. 24. I, 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 24, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to concentrate for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm I love it. I love it, Matt. I've had a few conversations with oh. Trish. Oh, yeah, we're talking. Yeah, we're Am talking. I in there too? Yeah. Okay. I have an oh, idea. What is happening? <gasps> Where's this bird? Oh, what do you get when you roll a perception? Hubbub, hubbub, hubbub. Hub hub He's doing whispers. Don't you need to do a thing? Oh, oh, yes. What was the sponsor? NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We did them enough. Watch The Legend of Vox Machina. Yay! Episodes one through six on Amazon Prime right now. It's it's real good. It's real and good. And it gets better. That's some shit happened. My lord, um, if I may. Your brother is here. Oh. Why would he do that? That is the stupidest <laughs> fucking He's thing. He's a real dumb guy. He's so dumb. <laughs> real dumb. dumb. You glance dumb. over, <laughs> and as you see, the the pale woman that entered with Armand, that uh -huh. splintered off and kind of became this wallflower off to the side, has now been joined by another man that is wearing kind of like an ivory suit, um, really well tailored, looks like it may be a bit small for his frame, uh, mask up, and hair pulled back, but definitely both in form, physique, and presence reminds you of your brother. The, the crowd thing. begins to part a little bit just beyond where you are, and you see as they do, uh, Gavis Aranda approaches, kind of looking directly at you. I'm terribly sorry. I saw you from across the room when I was speaking, and I have not quite seen a construct like this before. This is amazing workmanship. Who is responsible for the creation of we such... I was just wondering the same thing. My goodness. Isn't he incredible? Oh, Fern, by the way. Fern, Gavis, oh, a pleasure to meet you. I love your whole look. Oh, you as well. This oh, presentation you. is very... Um... Can I see the back? Oh, of course. And there's like a flourish turn and a flourish oh, turn. I just, I mean... Hmm. Yes, we were talking about how just incredible this is. Indeed. Um, I was supposed to deliver drinks to my master, but in speaking to these two individuals, I found myself wrapped up in their conversation. I'm sorry, and what's your name? Oh, uh, 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 Bron, Bronte. Bron, you can call Bob, me Bob, Bron Bronte. <laughs> sorry, sometimes <laughs> I. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, it's all right. I have that effect on many people the first time they meet me. They do. He very rarely has to make introductions himself. Hmm. Uh, this is my. Presented. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that is Maud's specialty. This is my servant, Maud. And uh, my bodyguard, Copernicus. Ah, Copernicus. Yes. Very well. Um, 
And in, what, what was your name one more time? I know you made a grand. Oh, production. you are definitely not from around here. I, you I'm need not. to know who I am, but that's fine. Gavis Aranda of the Aranda Guild of Beautification, responsible for keeping this fine city looking as fine as it does. You sure do a good job. I also speak on the behalf of the Quorum. Oh. So, let's be friends, because you want to be friends. I love friends. Yes. <laughs> I do love friends. Wonderful. Could you give me a drink if you don't mind? Of course. Oh my god! <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dance, you are looking for. Cyrus! Wyvern win. Correct. Um, you see him. I, I, he'd roll a one <laughs> on a stealth check. It, I'm not even going to make you roll. Um, but yeah, he's kind of like. He's not going into the dance yet, and he's kind of looking around. Ah, uh, 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 my my lord. <clears throat> Can I help you? Yes, uh, my my master would uh, speak with you, please. It's of yeah. urgent wyvern wind business. I'm, I am, have no idea what that is. I am. Uh, no, no, I know. This what? is a uh, this is important. Move your stupid ass over here to the side of the room, <laughs> Cyrus. Kind of like. Leans in a bit and looks you, know, you heard me, my lord. If you would do me the honor of accompanying me to the side, uh, of course. I'm curious to have this conversation. <laughs> Most gracious of you, this way. <laughs> and kind of begins walking over with you off to the side. What the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, listen, we're on we're on work, but I mean, I thought who you else was... is with you? Everyone, we're scattered around. I mean, you can't see them because we're wearing masks. But listen, you're supposed to be giving a low profile. I am. What are you doing with her? I'm Lord Dutanya. Lord oh. Dutanya? Okay. Cool. I'm taking care of my things. You're taking care of your th the things. You mean your th your thing? My thing. Your brother is here and is on a very important mission. Oh, can you please not tell him I'm here? Hmm, what's it worth to you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 60 gold? What'd you say? 70 gold? <laughs> 70 gold? Just keep your damn money, come with me. I, I, I'm meeting someone. No, you're not. Come with me. It'll only take a moment, but I need you to hurry. Oh, time, my, okay, so what, oh, whoever gets favorite. whoever gets to Armand first is going to try to take the ring after Imogen loosens it with her mind, and then you're going, then you're going to toss the fake no, ring to the second. No, that's way too complicated. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a two-part. It's a three-part no, plan. Kevin, just on. give you the just fucking ring. Just get the ring. ring. But we don't know who's going to dance with him first. No, got just to do figure it. it out. Well, well, one of you gets there it's first. It's a coin toss. We'll dance. We'll dance with each other if if. Oh wait! Right. I Give know. That's a problem. I you're better at picking give pockets. The ring to Fern. Give the ring to Fern. No! You, you're better with your fingers. Give the ring to me. <laughs> now, Fern, as you turn, you can see there is uh, a young noble woman in like a nice floofy dress who spins, makes eye contact with you, and reaches out as an arm kind of pushes in and grabs your hand, uh -oh. and you see Lord Preston Drodolon yeah. grasps your hand. <laughs> Preston. My dear, I apologize. I am amazed that luck keeps bringing us together. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if it's luck as much as you cutting in line. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, um, is that blue boy your partner? Well, boy, it is complicated. I like complicated. Well, <laughs> it's so complicated. It's really just, it's, it's, yes, it's, yes, we are. We're, 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 a, we are a thing. <laughs> Exclusively? Oh. What is, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> The fact that you have to ask means that. I mean, there's like a little, a little bit of a wiggle room there, <laughs> but it just depends on, you know. I'm dying. I happen to like to find room to wiggle. Oh! 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 oh. 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 
this guy, this guy's a little, a little meh. <laughs> Preston, you better give me the biggest spin of your life. You better believe it. <laughs> he takes your arm and right as the symbol crash hits, he twirls you, and you, in the spin, have to try and guide yourself in the right direction. I want you to roll either a dexterity check, a be a dexterity saving throw, I'll say for this one. Okay. okay. Let's go, Hubs. Or a perception check with disadvantage. So as the other individual tries to push in to grasp for his hand as Lord Armand disengages from his previous partner, seems to turn towards their way, they stumble and like fall down to the ground and kind of catch themselves, and Armand kind of withdraws his hand. And right as he does, he looks up towards you. Right as you spin into place, and he catches you. Oh, thank you. Hello. Well, the pleasure is mine, my dear. And your name is? I am Lord Armand Treshi of the Mahan House Treshi. And who do I have the pleasure of dancing with? My name is Fern Calloway of the Feywild. Interesting. A Fey creature. Huh. Well. As we're looking over, I'm going to try to just twist the ring and try to take it off. Hand of hand. Come. Oh. Okay. Oh. Make a sleight of hand no. check. No. <laughs> He's on guard! My soul just up on my body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is what I'm here for. This though. is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it. It's up Let to the, the face decide. Yeah. Up to but the dice. Let chaos reign across it's, all campaigns. It's punching time. Fuck. Oh. Is it? Is it? It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. 21. As you spin, the music picks up. There are, there's a crescendo and a crash of the cymbal, and he spins you, and as he does, you grab just a little bit tighter than was expected on his thumb, and you feel a, a pop, like you had popped the thumb out of a socket a little bit, and the ring slips off in your grasp. So while it doesn't go unnoticed, it didn't seem overt, and he kind of like ugh, reaches down for a second, takes the hand, and looks up at you with like a. Who's got the ring? You got the ring? At which point, Gavis is now coming towards you to take your hand, while you feel the ring in your left. What do you do? Oh. Drop it, Fern. Ping. Oh ping, Jesus! Ping, ping. <laughs> Drop Dorian. Yes, yes, Dorian. Yes, yes, Dorian. Yes, yes. Pick this up the is the moment Dorian, of transition. Pick up the ring. Yes. As the symbol crashes hit, pick and you're transitioning out of it, happened. you see you see ring. Fern being tossed away from Armand, and a little point of silver just on the ground. I'm gonna pretend I don't notice and start dancing Among with Gavis. Among feet? Notice it. Why? Notice it. Save the day. Why do I need to pick up the ring? Dorian. I have the right one. Dorian, notice he dropped it and save the day. Fine. Swing the ring. And I will. <laughs> is this the transition? It is. Your, your, this is just happening this right at the, the middle of the transition point. Hand. I will push past everyone. <laughs> Oh God! Yes. And walk straight up to him in a tango-esque fashion. No, 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 pick up the ring from the fucking. Ring. I have the correct ring. No, trust me. Trust him. Trust, trust, him. trust oh, me, Imogen. And I can I shot her out of my brain. You can. Yeah. I will no. shut Imogen out of my brain. All right. So they go for. It. Watch for you. They glance over and you snatch up the ring. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Like. Uh, I'm I'm bringing your drink. The this is when I get there. This is so stupid. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to throw the tracking ring to Fern. I'm gonna try to toss it. To her. I love it. I love okay. it. I'm gonna try to toss it to her. All right. Okay. No one crimes well. All right. So, <laughs> so in the middle of this chaos, you lock eyes with Fern, and you, as the person's like about to reach towards you, I've got the. I reach for them and try to no. Just try to sky hook it. Over to her. Okay. So you 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 get grabbed and pulled, and as you do, your hand catches it, but also loosens it, and kind of like flies a little bit further in the air. You try and catch it again, it gets knocked up again, and a third time you do manage to catch it. And as you hold it, the person who's holding your hand is pulling you to the dance goes like, fascinating. <laughs> he just proposed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, congratulations! Oh, I'm like, <laughs> That's incredible! I have to go tell my girlfriends. Oh, 
<laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave. As you disengage, <laughs> you, you can see people nearby being like, did she just get married? Like, oh. I am going to cast Primal Savagery on myself. Okay. And my fangs come out. And my eyes turn crazy. I don't want to dance with you. <laughs> Three people who were like swooping in to try after they watched you dancing with Armand, and and like even that moment with Armand like really caught the attention of the crowd around. Done. <laughs> like suddenly you became a point of interest in the middle of this circle, this strange, this strange fauna, a, a fey being in the middle of this dance that was engaged with Armand, and and so as soon as you the whole ring thing scenario, there's like a shine in the air, and you end up dancing with the folk, and you begin pushing through. People rush. In and as you do that, <gasps> my God, oh, and let anyone into this dance these days. I'm done, and I just got engaged. <laughs> the take off. I was going to tell her congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> as you are on the ground at this point, looking around, two hands <laughs> hit the ground, and you look up to see Armand there, and goes like, "Did you find it?" I'm looking everywhere, uh, sir. Carter. And you see him like he's like telling people, move out of the way. People like shifting back and starting to like call the space. Amon carries enough weight, it seems, in these spaces where when he uses that tone of voice, people listen, whether or not they're considered equals in the front of, of social exchange. Keep it in your hand, Fern. Okay. As I stand up, I'm gonna say, I found it! And grab it out of Fern's hand. Yes. I'm gonna walk by and we'll just do a quick. <gasps> Sir! Stands away. Um, I don't know why I got so excited. A little deception check. Come on, come on bitch! Come on. Kind of gives you a look. Sorry, I don't. Oh. It's hard to be a good help these days. If you're looking. It just like completely closes off to you and turns over to see you and goes. You are an extremely clumsy dancer. <laughs> well, rude. <laughs> Good one. Nice. Sure, <laughs> fucking told him. Your face is clumsy. <laughs> you gauge their eyeline, and they're looking at the mask. I am very well covered, by the way. Other than the purple, there's nothing else showing. But like, you're this rocking is that. But you rock on a Nightmare King mask. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, bring it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> totally in oh, kind of detail. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, do I, do I notice? Oh uh, yeah, you uh, uh, you know because you're keeping eye on everybody. You look over and get the look. It's one of those things where like you glance over, you see Laudna, Imagine see her eye like over, that. see Volley, and Volley's looking right at you with this kind of like. Excuse me for one second. I just take a couple steps forward. Creepy. Yeah, that's a gesture. Machine. Volley begins to maneuver through the crowd away from you, and. Harlequin. He's now like heading deeper into the. Let's see who he finds. And I'm gonna just start quietly trying to track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes on that motherfucker. That was the whole point. Yeah, yeah. There is a door that leads into another room, like a smaller kind of connected room, and the door is open, and you see a figure glance through. Almost instinctively, I know, I know, I'm invisible, but I just like pull my head back. With unnatural speed, the figure darts over to the door. The figure looks out, and you see for a split second here in the low light, uh, Lady Imoth. You can see like sweat on her face. She glances off down the hall towards where the other guards are. And carefully, she closes the door and locks sweat. it. Is there anything you do in this moment? No. Okay. No. I fucked around enough. Can I take one really big <laughs> sniff of the of the door as soon as it closes? I just want to get like one big breath of whatever that smell is and yeah. just lock it. in. you take it in, and now that you're this close, and you're paying attention. It's off. Like it's it. It's that horrible combination, of like a sweet saccharine perfume that's used to mask something, uh -huh. and the smell that it's masking as it fades off is earthy or more decaying flesh. More more earthy and moldy. 
Their head kind of turns to one side as they approach. Friend, I have not found uh, the chance to ask your name. Who are you? I don't usually really give it. I'm just working, man. Oh, what do you need? Orm is making his way over to the crowd. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm a fan of that unique ensemble you are wearing. Where did you procure this ghastly mask you wear? Oh, it was a gift. I don't know. This is all, it's not my stuff. Uh, I don't know, someone said a, a mask would be funny or something. I don't know. Make a deception check. Come on. Uh, One of us has got to roll well for me. Ooh, that's real good. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really trying. What is it? Curse. They lean close to you. <laughs> and rip the mask from your it's face. It's tied. It'll be a. I know. Have to pull. I'm going for a weird response. I'm going to slap him. <gasps> oh, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Roll an attack roll. Oh, oh God. God. Guys, when you have a barbarian in your class, mm -hmm. you can count on a certain number of things. Where am I? Okay, I got to see my. What are my attacks? Just roll. Just, just roll and add your strength modifier. Oh no! I, yeah, I see it. There. Uh, Twenty-four. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Please. I like you. Goes to slap oh, yeah. you back. Oh, no. slap fight. We're playing slap scenes. <laughs> that point. 16? Yeah. Uh, that's my AC. Only one Sleep. thing to do. You do take a point of damage. Wow, right. I didn't think that would hit that hard. I figured you could take a little more. You see, when I taste the blood. It's hard to get it out of my mind. How about we take this outside? After I pulled on Orm's elbow skin and was going to make over to Estros, they all started to move. So I stopped, remembered where I was, and looked back towards the table where I last saw Cyrus sitting at that table. Is he still there? No. You glance through the crowd and keenly come to the conclusion that he is not among them. And you recall that person that entered the hallway and asked about the bathroom that helped you escape? <sighs> that sounded like him. Fuck! Stupid brother! Brontal! Fuck! <laughs> I don't care, I don't care, I don't care! But she smelled it like mold! I'm gonna go back to the door. <laughs> okay. The first thing you notice is there's a, a very faint commotion in the room. It sounds like things moving and shifting. You glance across the way where you, as you kind of move inside and look over, and you can see the, the desk in the far corner, the drawers are pulled out, and you see a figure is currently like scooping things out of the drawers. Is it Lady Emoth? It's smaller. It's like a cloaked figure. Looks kind of your size, if a little bit smaller than your size, actually, maybe like a foot or so smaller. Um, and you can see it's currently like filling like a rough small. satchel. A foot smaller. Do I smell anything? Familiar smell? That musty smell, very strong. <laughs> Any sign of Cyrus? Yeah. Not in this room, no. You hear? Something else in the way, and across the way in the other room, you see two more little humanoid creatures cloaked, rushing through, and they're just like grabbing things. What the fuck? This figure's hood back, gray, pale skin, black eyes, sharp teeth in a mouth, and clawed arms underneath. You've not seen a creature like this before. And it's kind of clusting and drags it, and you see two more coming through. They kind of growl at each other, and you can see there's now like four of them in this room. Four? And around the way, you see Lady Emoth, kind of like her eyes black. You can see the kind of darkened veins in the side of her neck. She goes, 
like towards them. You can see her her arms are a little bit longer, and that sweat is kind of dripping off in like a thicker mucusy pattern. They all look to her and she goes and they all grab their satchels and drag them off into the room around the corner where she was. At the top of uh, Ashton's turn this time, I'm going to use a bonus action and pump four temporary hit points into him with okay. uh, ardent armor. All right, how, explain how you do so. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not on the battlefield, I guess, right? You are not. You are kind of hidden within the crowd. Everyone's eyes are on the scuffle. I, uh, I, 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 I know how much she likes booze and so, uh, so I'll grab somebody's liquor, <laughs> and I'll just say, "Yeah, re- refill, Ashen," and I'll just chuck it, at, <laughs> chuck it at his face. <laughs> it kind of spreads across you. Ow! Ow! It burns. Oh! No. <laughs> I'm bleeding. You threw alcohol in a bleeding person. Yeah, it'll stanch the bleeding. <sighs> I'm, I'm not that kind of a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs the back of his shoulder and kind of picks him up off the ground. You can see his feet dragging in there and goes, Gentlemen, and tosses your unconscious body over to one of the Paragon Call members who grabs it. Uh, go ahead and roll a death save. Help. Help. <laughs> They're not going to kill you. They want to work with you. Natural one. <gasps> what does that mean? What does that mean? That's two death saves. Oh, Jesus! As, as you land in his arms, this, I. Boss, he's not doing well. You really did a number. He's like, patch him up. Okay. He earned it at least. And they kind of glance at each other and they start quickly looking for any sort of materials. Oh, they, they don't. They, they can't don't do have. It. All right, I'll have, zoom on over. <laughs> I have a healing potion on me. If they, that would. I, they don't would, worry. Oh, okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Save the potions. I'll uh, I'll go up and and uh, and I'll just say, excuse me. Uh, I I know this uh, just, this fighter. May, may, may I please lay lay some. <laughs> some <laughs> <on>. <laughs> just, just, does not want to lose another. Guy. No, not right now. Please do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're not arguing. Level five. <laughs> Not in the fucking mood right now. <laughs> this is not how I want to spend my weekend. No. Ritanish, kind of after checking in with you, turns around to the rest of the crowd as everyone kind of gets quiet and goes. And these are the skills that you could easily pay for to keep your people safe. Hashtag ad. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Hashtag the movie. Gross. I won't kill me over. Hold on, let me cross out the hot note. Oh, man. Are there any looky loos still, like, kind of, kind of. There's a handful that are, like, just watching to see what you're going to do. Like, they're they're heading inward, but they're also, like, keeping. Lean forward. Father. <laughs> Might as well start some start some rumors if I can't. Make a deception check. Uh, <laughs> wow, nope. <laughs> that was a zero with okay. advantage. So the closest person goes a like zero with advantage? <laughs> wow. The person closest to you goes watches this display and turns oh, to their man. friend and you just barely hear as they begin to walk into the building. He beat him so hard he's asking for his father. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I was uh, following the people in after he said father, and I um, correct them. No, 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 that, that, that was his father that was beating him. <laughs> Make a deception check. No. Yes. 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 Thanks, oh, thanks for having my back. You got it, baby. <laughs> Probably not going to work. No. I appreciate it, though. Eight. <laughs> I, they look nothing alike. Fair. What I, does that even mean? <laughs> I did not mean I just. I. <clears throat> and they just like wander off flustered by the encounter. Hey, Imogen? <laughs> Hi, there you are. Hi, what's, how you, what, what, are, what have you been doing? Oh man, it's been the craziest night, and not in like the hot, sexy way. Listen, um, <laughs> I was tracking a couple of things, but I saw. Were you around, people? I mean, are we kind of alone? Uh, uh, there's no. Kneel down. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? I'm great. Jay. Listen, I was going after Dorian's brother. Cyrus was here. Oh, yeah. oh, but but he was here with that, the elf woman. 
You oh, mothcat. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, she she <laughs> turned into something else. She went into a secret what do you room. Mean, wait, wait. And then I lost Dorian's brother. What do, you, what, she, what do you mean she turned into something else? What are you talking and about? She got all crazy in one of these secret rooms past the double doors over by the pitcher. Where I got all of a sudden. You can do it. You can do it, Chad. Oh. I think Dorian needs to be aware that his brother is missing. His brother. Uh, can I look around? Do I see Dorian? Dorian's I'll, I'll hard do the to miss. Same. I'll see if I can talk to Dorian if he has not blocked me out still. I'm, oh, I'm, my I'm, lord. I'm, oh, my fucking lord. <laughs> who is that? Hello? I, I can't quite tell from the voice. Who, 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 who's speaking? Chet's been following your brother and he's gone missing. Oh. Missing? I don't know. It, it, how, how could he go missing? From the party? I think so. He said he followed him into a back room, and he he's missing now. I, and some elf woman turns weird and attacked and went into... I don't... I, I attacked couldn't follow... someone? I think so. Uh, uh, can, all right. Well, can you send him over? Or should we talk? Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That sounds not right. Come over here. Okay. I'm over here. Well, where you is he? You can come over. He's right next to me. Oh, okay. I Just imagine, look down. I imagine they're like 16 feet apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I heard him going to the pisser. So then I checked there, and he wasn't inside. God damn it. It's so southern now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing so really? good. You got it. You're doing great, Fuck oh, Santa. Okay. Um, here we go. <laughs> I'm back in it. <laughs> you got the touchstone. You have to have the touchstone for your performance. Gotta, yes. Yeah, check in. Yes. So I went, and he wasn't in there. Uh huh. And and I came back out, and he's gone. <laughs> She's too powerful. <laughs> it's like a black so hole, man. It's so close to old prospector. It's so close. <laughs> I know, I love it. You hit the event horizon, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> wow. Each hour is seven years. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to open up my mind. And you guys are going to see my eyes start flickering white. And I'm going to try to reach my mind out and see if I can find Cyrus. Ooh, what? Okay. And if I can, I'm gonna send him a message. Okay. So you are attempting to... Cast sending. Cast sending to him, okay. Oh, shit! You focus and concentrate, and you feel this this tug. You're not able to place the direction of it necessarily, but you, you find a connecting point to his mind. What would you like to say? Cyrus, where are you? Your brother's looking for you. Are, are you all right? Okay. He responds, uh, I'm, I'm fine, don't, tell him, don't worry. I'm, I'm paying my debts. It's being taken care of. He sounds like he's safe. He said he was paying his debts. He wouldn't tell me where he was. What? Paying his debts? In the bathroom? <laughs> That's how it starts. Sounds yeah. like a lot of work. I will only call taking a dump, paying my debts. <laughs> Make it a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, can, we can look for him in the bathroom, but he sounded like he wanted to be left alone. <laughs> <laughs> Such a departure from, are you pooping? <laughs> I mean, it could have been so easy. <laughs> I'm going to link my arm in his. Um, the uh, object has been You mean delivered? Do you have it already? No, no, no. We we put it. We put it. We put it on. It's, a, it's okay. We we put we put it on. We put it on. It's done. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eshiraz kind of like Wait. takes off his glasses and cleans them. No, hold on for, but, just a second. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wasn't the whole thing because we needed to give you his? No, 
It wasn't at all. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> she doesn't know the mission. <laughs> what are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna do with that one, though? Just remove it from any possibility of it being linked to us. I know, but I think I should wear it. <laughs> Don't go flashing it anywhere. I will. I could eat it if we're trying to get rid of it, but or I trust Fern to to. You decide. See just he trusts. Don't go showing it in public anymore. He kind of hands it over. No! 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. It's for safekeeping. Of course. Do not go wandering around that back area until all of us can go back there. Because... Are you, are you telling Fern or Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, okay, I, will, I won't. <laughs> She's gonna do it. <laughs> She's gonna do it. At least if you do, Fern, do it quietly and go, so quiet, don't go by God, yourself. So quiet. Don't go by yourself. No, 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 no. No, I'll take, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out if I do. It's okay, don't stress. She already stress. negotiated you down. <laughs> she's so charming, you know? She's just so... I got it, I'll be safe. Go, go, take care of everything. I don't even know what I'm taking. Let's go. You know what? You relax. I'll go get us some drinks. Yes. Okay? I'll be inside ready. check. <laughs> Make an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Roll it. Uh, Fourteen. You can make a deception check, or just roll for the hell of it, and just based on the roll, see how you want to go. With it. Seven. <laughs> what does he sense? Well, I was gonna take a little bit of a detour. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I, I just. Um, I feel like my. I, I, I just feel like my, I, I, I've got. I have to, my. I want to help stay and make sure that Ashton's all right. But I just have a sneaking suspicion that I should also stay with you to make sure you're all right. And I, I just. I'm a little conflicted. Is all. So. No, no, no. Literally, I'm just gonna go get drinks and then I'll be right back. You can watch me. Yeah. No. She's talking too fast. You should go. <laughs> She's talking too fast. The, the, I'll the, help you. the, the speed of my way that I talk doesn't have anything oh, to do with <laughs> what I'm do with. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're so bad at this. <laughs> listen. No, it's fine. I, I'm not I, no, lying. Anymore. I, have, I will come right back. Listen, I'm not going to go listen, where I was going to go. Your impulses, I think you should follow them, all right? You have great instincts and you should <laughs> trust them. All I'm saying is, I'd Thank like to be you. there to support you. That's so nice to hear. Yeah, you okay. make good decisions. And make, make good decisions now, and I, I will be there to support whatever they are. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm coming with. Okay, let's go. go. You've, you've heard of, you've heard of a, 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 a group, a, two individuals like this before called the Green Seekers. Green they are fairly well known detectives. Ooh. That is. Jenny, when you were following my brother, mm. and you said he was looking to broker some sort of deal, right? did you feel that it was <clears throat> nefarious or underhanded in nature in any way? It certainly didn't seem upstanding. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't very quick to speak about it. I feel like if it had been on the up and up, he would have been more open. All right. And they went into the... Yeah, the they, that's where I was. Off to the left is the pisser, off to the right is the doom room. The pisser, pisser. Oh, I have an idea. All right. Let's make this room work for us. Okay, how I'll about, worry. How about we go up to the guards? Sure. And we say, hey, there's some shit going on in that room to the right. Okay. They're challenging the Chan Decor, and we're gonna, you should go check it out. And then while they go, you go, um, Look, do, do you need to pee or anything? I could lie that I need to pee. You don't have to pee. Well, they won't check this my bladder. Time? No, I've, I've. You haven't been drinking at all? Not really, no. That's just wasting an opportunity. All right. Oh. Let's go. Shit. All right. Cool. Now, Fern, you were following that direction. The guards had moved past. You get there first. As you kind of come by the side, and the door itself is now open. 
and you hear first like a some whispered hushes. What the fuck? And you hear somebody else try and scream before. Then silence. Then you do see a blood trail. A heavy blood trail and a secondary smaller one that are both dragging through to a doorway that leads into kind of an adjacent chamber, a continuation of this suite beyond. So they're dead. They're dead. Do we hear this? Are we or peeking it, through the doorway? Hey, yeah, yeah you can come in. You can come okay, in. Okay, okay, it's okay. fine. Okay. Is there any people in here? Uh, right now, you roll a perception check. As soon as you all kind of begin to scuffle, and you hear in that that next chamber over that's part of this suite. Um, you hear like scratching sounds, and so, so they're either dead or in the process of dying. Oh. So if we want to save their lives, we should go in there and, and help them. Otherwise, we are just going to leave them to die. Wait, who are we saving? The two guards that Dorian killed. Why? Wait, no. Because they're innocent and haven't done anything How wrong, do you and they, know? They, have, voice. they have souls. Uh -oh. Breaks <laughs> the tense uh -oh. silence of the room. What are you doing in these chambers? And you look for the source of it, and you don't see anyone else in the room. But you, with your extremely high perception roll, glance up <gasps> and see oh, no. latched to the ceiling Shut the fuck up. in her dark, Nope. Gray silver dress, no. pale, no, 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 no. sweaty skin, uh, yeah. latched head turned down, black eyes, an extended jaw, just kind of dripping liquid saliva from it. The sharp teeth exposed. You see, Lady Imoth Kar. Three. Three. Okay, three, so three points of damage. Three points of fire damage on each of them as Mister just suddenly vanishes from your shoulder. <laughs> and bursts into flame into the other room with a bright light. It kind of blinds you momentarily, Chetney, as you watch the flaming mister. <laughs> and the two uh, Shade Creepers kind of <laughs> withdraw. Okay. The two guards on the ground begin to writhe as they burn. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> they're not dead, they will but they're soon. certainly closer. They will be soon. <laughs> oh, man. As I see that, I'm like, oh, I I'm so sorry. Um, I will use a bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay, all right. In what form? Well, we're at a party. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to cast it to look like a formal invitation, and on the front it says, uh, the honor of your presence is cordially invited, and then if you flip it open it says, to a whooping an ass whooping. <laughs> I like that it would say whooping uh, uh, ass whooping. <laughs> yeah, yes. Nope. Four plus something. I'm sure it doesn't hit. <laughs> it hits her like an invitation would. It just kind of like flops against her. <laughs> and so I guess I'll use my action to cast um, Sacred Flame. And I guess I'll style it that like a little door opens right here, pssst, and a little hose sticks out, and pssst. <laughs> 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 it's like a blast of fire. You got it. Uh, at the at the guy in front of Chetney. You got it. You got it. All right. Okay, and I am going to uh, turn around oh, no. and kind of flip my flame blade and try to. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, just hit the camera. <laughs> Try to take, uh, slice it across her throat. Such a Go ahead and place. roll an attack with your spell attack modifier. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Is there an advantage because I'm flanking with Dorian? Yes, there would be. Yay! Yay! There you go. Rules queen. Oh, there you go. Yeah, go. Going to like you. You. <laughs> oh! That's 20. Oh! So go ahead and roll 3d6 and double it. Okay. So describe how this crit goes through. Okay. She's so currently like kind of focused between you and Dorian. She just took the uh, the blast attack from across the way, just dodged the uh, the chilled touch, and is now like glancing around. So at I'm going to turn around with all the mucus all over me. I just got shampooed, <laughs> and then I'll just <laughs> try to slice it. Across her throat to try to open up all the the, the mucus sack. 
Okay, she pulls oh, back and the blade sh- cuts past, and you see the cut does go through, and a bit of, of excretion kind of oh, down the side of the neck. The other guard, one of them, Russ. this one over here is going to stand up That's not Russ. and go over towards the other guard on the ground oh, good. Uh, and manages to try and no, deal chance. with his wounds, but he's, he's no longer with us. Oh! You had ample opportunities to save both of them. Oh, oh, dude, you got burned. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My bad. What was that? Who are you? I don't know, but listen, there's going to be more people coming. We need you to make sure to vouch for us. We didn't do this. We came to your rescue. You understand? I, I know very much so, but who, what can I say you are? Who, well, like a name? <laughs> a name or a person, an affiliation, something. Now's our time. Oh boy. Now's our moment. This is it. <laughs> I've got a thing I gotta get to. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here with? Oh. No, we're not here with anybody. No, we're not here with anyone. We were here as representatives of. of the deceased Bertrand Bell. Carry on his legacy. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. What's oh, your name? Object. What's your name, young young sir or Adam? Uh, uh, do not. Do, do not. Do not. Because the words. Do not pick a name right now. Uh, I do not hit her. I do not. I was going to Haas, but that works well too. <laughs> it's a little more. All critters named do not out there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, Same to the Purbons. And they're all looking upon what looks to be uh, a guard and two green cloaked figures that currently have your brother uh, in shackles and are just holding one, each of them on each side of him, holding his arms and kind of parading him through the central area. As we turn the corner and I'm walking away from the guard, we're Bell's Hills. And don't you forget it. And I'm gonna keep walking out. Are we? And I can run after her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll just say, I'm sorry we laughed at your name. Do not, and hope you don't laugh at ours. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. So they're full on like shame dragging him, like, or they've arrested him and they're just bringing him dragging out him to the out. front. Perp walk. Perp walk. All right. What do we do? Do we create a distraction? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, a distraction. Uh, do you have anything in mind? I, uh, we have to get him out of there right now. Create an illusion. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know. Just wing it. Uh, darkness. Watches. Good God. What, do you, what, what were you about to say first? <laughs> <laughs> no, you tell me. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, you tell, you tell me first. Oh my God. <laughs> what were you about to do? Oh, it's the police. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so the central chandelier in the middle of the room suddenly, and just like this sphere of dark shadow encompasses the chandelier. I'm trying to make a distraction here. All of a sudden, everyone in the room, after Gavis just begins to like calm everyone down and people begin talking, all of a sudden, <gasps> what, what? And we're oh, looking no. up at this like sphere of dark shadow that has now appeared in the center of the room. I'm going to lean over to Laudna and I'm going to say, tell them I'm sorry. And I'm going to reach in my bag. Oh. And I'm going to pull out my last vestige of my trip to Gilmore's. I, I have got a uh, smoke grenade. And I'm gonna pull it, and I'm gonna pop it, and I'm gonna throw it right at all of them. At who? At the guards that have my brother, and everybody. I'm gonna pop a smoke pop grenade smoke? and throw it right into the middle oh boy. of the map. Oh boy! Oh it's my brother. Oh boy. Sorry. What to do? Uh, it uh, it lobs through the air and lands right in the middle of them, and and creates a 20 foot radius smoke screen. And I'm gonna sprint straight for it. You go rushing in and then oh, poof, no. bump into a figure. You see as a half orc in a dark green cloak suddenly turns around oh, right towards you and goes, Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, what, <am> I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? 
<laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. and it, wait, I bumped into him. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put my arms on his shoulders and go, "Don't worry about it." And cash charm person. Oh, oh shit! God. You're also <laughs> hidden by the cloud, oh so that's if it, if it succeeds, nobody's gonna see it. I know. And if it doesn't, you're arrested. I know. <laughs> this natural nine. Uh, fourteen plus save. four. Oh! Yes, he is. Yes. I'm not even joking. He has a really high wisdom because they're they're investigators. They're high intelligence, high wisdom. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. He just misses and kind of turns. Just, what are you doing? I said, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna let him go and try to fade back into the smoke and feel around for my brother. Gives an intense look before. She drops to the ground, what? whack, hits their face, and you just see a shadow pulling back with a long, dark cane in their hand. Oh, yes! Oh, come on! And just kind of like, just all you hear is, go. And it steps back into the fog. What do you do? I. <laughs> I'll, oh, I'll look to the. God. I'll lock, look to the charmed person that is holding my brother, grab his arm, and like, you heard the man, we've got to go. And try to lead my brother out of the smoke. Make a persuasion check. Come on, the cane. Come on. this is it. He's charmed, right? Oh boy. He is. So you'd have advantage technically because he is charmed. Persuasion. You have uh, advantage. Uh, four is a 16 plus six, 22. Wait, oh, okay. I'll do it with advantage. Sure. What happened? Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Oh, Natural 20, yeah, 26. 26. <laughs> I'm going to uh, crack my neck and drop on all oh, fours Jesus. and grow a little bit into my form of dread and say, get out to everybody around. Okay, make an intimidation check. Okay, okay, 21. 21. The majority of 22, the. 22, sorry. No, I'd say all of the attendees in your vicinity just go scattering and running out in a mass exodus towards the front entrance way. I've got my brother by the arm, and as we walk out of the smoke right before we leave its precipice, I'm going to tap them and cast invisibility on him. Okay. It's likely they are looking for a certain type of person. Well, we're going to be on their radar. Shortly. Paragon's call, too. I bet they're looking for him, also. They're going to be looking for a certain type of person. Fuck. You're offering. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> All right. You're offering my brother free fee, free passage out of the city. He's talking about you as well. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know if that's ne necessary. We just get your brother out and we get out of town. Do you think this man could possibly take care of himself with what he's done in the city? I'll turn to my brother and I'll say, um, this deal with Lady Moth, was this your last ditch effort to get out of this bounty? A lot of help that it was. I'm not good at a lot of things. Not like you. And it's not what I expected you to say. <clears throat> I'll turn my back on the rest of the group and I'll look to Lady or uh, uh, Lord Astros and I'll say, uh, "We'll take you up on your offer." Like family to me, very much so. But this is my family. And we have to see this through, whatever it is. No goodbyes. Not for now. I'm not going to say I'm happy about it. But I think we all understand. This feels so dour. It's a real downer. Come on, we just had a great night. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? It was something. It, it was strange. Was we were clicking. Funny. We had chemistry. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. What was the? Uh, 
the, what, what was the um, uh, Ashtaras' uh, house attendant's name? Does anyone recall? Evelyn. Evelyn. Right. Evelyn? Yes? May I, uh, may I bother you for something? It is not a bother. Yeah. Do you have any wine and some cups? Yes. Oh. yes. May, may we have some? Of course, I'll be right back. May I? Oh, yeah. Uh, two. The. Oh. Oh. What did yes. you say? Bell's Hales. I, I said Bell's Hales. <laughs> Bell's Hales. But, but do you like it? I did. It felt, it felt good. Does it feel good? I mean, we are a bunch of Hillians. We raise hell. Well. Like and we like killed it. Bertrand. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. To Dorian, <laughs> who is leaving us yeah. for his stupid brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? Hey. What the fuck is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? May the hair uh, in your ears no. never fall out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have hair in your ears? Mm. Someday, I'm sure. You're not a burden, by the way. You oh. shouldn't have said that. You're quite the asset. You, you little fuck! I'll cut you up and hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Who keep is your this? shit intact. Who is this guy? He is a friend, a very hairy, angry friend. I get it. Look, I am sorry. Yeah. I remember you. Yeah. You right. want me to leave you with something to remember me by? I'll oh, tell no, you no, I, look, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, all of you. All of you. I. I'm so sorry. You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> Better earn this. This is a good one. I mean, it's a little famous and pretentious, but he's good, so you earn it. Don't no, you're right. Anything in your mouth without his permission, you're just gonna choke on it. <laughs> got it, got it, okay. And just maybe don't come back next time. Fair, fair. N- not, not in a she wants you to die way, right? Oh, no, no, just, you know, maybe you can home. come back, but you should stay home just... and, like, raise a garden. I know what it's like to have people shouting in your brain all the time. So before you go, I just want to apologize for submitting you to that earlier this evening. (laughs) I need to apologize. Very few people have challenged me the way you have. It's been fun. Just remember, it's okay to accept help. You it's really good. don't have to do it on your own. <laughs> well, thank you. You uh, have mentioned before that you have other people back in Taltore, do you think? Oh. They're still around? Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. That's something to consider. <clears throat> you know, Ashton, you weren't my first adventuring party either. I don't take a big swig of wine. <clears throat> Remember how I gave you shit about when you first came into town and you got a bounty put on your head almost immediately? Yeah, no, I, I remember it very, very distinctly, actually. On the airship ride over, I will tell you a tale of why we probably shouldn't go back to Iman. <laughs> Okay, I look forward to that story. <laughs> are we going there, though? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, you wh- are, you're going to Amon. I thought Astro said we could go to Kaimo? I think you have to stop Touch through Amon first. Oh, That's shit. That's where it lands. I put another 10 in your hand, Platinum. Ah. <laughs> More, um, thank you. What is this for? For the company. For all those nights in the bed together. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't like that. It's uh. You don't have to deny it. <laughs> if you do find them, all right. Say hi for us. Oh, you couldn't stop me if you tried. Any messages you want to send, or should I leave it up to my imagination? Well, I can't wait to hear a progress report. Oh, I'm sure it will be full of. Simple things, all quiet life. I'm sure nothing has gone wrong there. (laughs) Uh, I reach up and take both Fern and Dorian's hands. I got so used to it. If 
feels weird that it's over for now. <laughs> I will miss uh, Big Spoon, Medium Spoon, Little Spoon. Big Spoon, Medium Spoon, <laughs> Little Spoon. <laughs> That's true. Fair, I... enough. Fair enough. I know my spot. <laughs> <clears throat> Would anyone like to hear a song? Oh, yeah. All right. I've been working on this one. Is there a place where all of our shit's been stored that we would have had access to? Yes, or in the all, carriage? All, all the things that you checked were then placed into the carriage during the event. All right. Uh, I'll pull up my loot and I will try to sing a little song for everyone. All right. Are you going to sing it? No! <laughs> 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 no. But the real question is, is it good or is it bad? Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You don't need to roll for that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Worcestershire. Oh. Hotter than goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait. Worcestershire. <laughs> it's good. It's not goodbye. No. See you later. We've yes. seen all the proof we need. I give him a halfling hug. <laughs> Bring him in tight. And... Oh, I will kiss his tiny little forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Oh, oh shit. Ah. Give me a hug. Mm. Or I miss ya. <laughs> I. Will miss you so much, and I'm gonna pull out a dead little Bertrand doll, and I'm gonna make them make kisses together. <laughs> oh, you said you were so horny, didn't you? Oh yeah, Can I have a stone real quick? <laughs> Break it in. Just checking. I know you just left, but I was just saying if you guys were okay. <laughs> Breaker, breaker. <laughs> breaker, breaker. <laughs> How does this come through on the stone? You hear the words directly into your head, like she's whispering in your ear almost, like as you hold the stone up. Do I know how to make it send back? You just kind of speak into the stone. Um, it works just fine. End. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least just like no. Let us know points. when you get there. I don't know that. Let us know when you get there to the ship, and then when you get to when you arrive <laughs> in Amman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to make sure. When you get okay. into your dorm at night, give me a call. Estros, are you mad at us? I'm actually very quite proud. Sorry, we weren't great party guests. I didn't bring you to be good party guests. I brought you to be problem solvers. I think you did quite a good job. A little messy in some ways, but <laughs> nothing I can't clean up in time. And if you were to there. look where the carriage went away as it pulled away, Left floating there, where, where the carriage just went away, with <laughs> levitate on it, is just a little toy boat. And a little kid from the street runs along and snatches it off and runs down the street. I love it. And that's where we'll end the episode. We'll end it there. Wow. Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you wanted, right?